Hello and welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my sacred space that I've prepared for us today. I'm Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia. Here to do your tarot pick a card. We are using this really cute deck called the Cat Tarot. It's illustrated by Megan Lynn Knott. And I am actually going to shuffle our thought of the day from the Healing the Mind and Spirit cards by Dr. Brian L. Weiss. So, if you've never done a tarot pick a card, it's easy to do. Just follow along with the video. I do leave timestamps if you want to skip ahead to your card. Um, I always do a thought of the day, or almost always, unless I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to do some hard shuffles on the table. Now, some people um, pick more than one card, and that's fine. It's designed just to, you know, as a pick a card, but I do know people that pick all the cards, and that's fine. Or they, sometimes they just pick two. And uh, so any way you want to use this video is really okay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck and I'm going to draw from the bottom and we have I'm becoming wiser each day. Hey, wise guy. Let's see what the back says. Wisdom is achieved slowly and is the active expression of knowledge. In your everyday life, loving service is the highest wisdom. I love this card. I love it because it speaks to my ego. <laughs> Um, I have, uh, since I was a tiny little girl, I prayed for the wisdom of King Solomon because of a conversation I had with my dad. And now that I'm old, way older than my dad was when he, when we talked about wisdom and we get this card and it talks about service, I have lived a life of service. That has always been my choice. I always enjoy working with the public, no matter what job. I'm doing, whether it be working as a direct entry midwife or working in a bookstore or teaching or whatever it is that I'm doing, I always really feel like the service part is the best part of my job. It's the part that brings the most joy to my life. Um, so that's why I love this card so much. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so where are we? We did the thought of the day. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to have a sip of coffee while you look at your cat toppers. You look at your cat toppers and that will help you um, pick what card it is that you want. Mm. So, if you need more time to pick, go ahead and take that time. You can just pause the video for as long as you need. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and move on. We're going to start with the red cat. And, you know, honestly, right now on camera, it it looks red. But um, here, with my own two eyes, it looks more like a salmon color. So, we're just going to call it red. We're going to call it red. So, <laughs> I already did this video guys, but I didn't have the camera on, so I didn't do anything. So your card, if you pick the red cat, is the five of cups or the five of hearts. You have been through a loss, experienced a sorrow, or spiritual exhaustion. Know that all is not lost and you have reached the depths and you are now able to move onward and upward. Healing is close at hand. And when I see this card, oftentimes, I see all the empty bowls in the back. Sometimes it's hard for us to say, oh, look how much, how many bowls I have that are empty. And I can see the bottom of my bowl here. This is, a, this is an indication for you to know that you can reach out to your family, that there are people who love you, that you are lovable, and that you can, you can get... Um, help, encouragement from those that love you. <clears throat> now, this card is 
really, it talks about sorrow, it talks about loss, but it's also um, saying that this is something that you will be able to work through and get through. And there is a suggestion that you get out into the world for some fresh air and a change of perspective, pick up the pieces and reemerge. And notice with the bridge and the calendar there, you've got places to go, man, and people to greet. <laughs> I know that's not how it really goes. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's under the black cat. <laughs> I love this card. I love it because I love kippers. <laughs> I don't need them very often, but man, are they good. Eight of Pentacles. It is reward time. The universe sees your commitment and dedication and rewards you with kippers. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable with your abilities. There's still more to learn and room for improvement. Open yourself to acquiring a new skill. I like that coupled with wisdom because I can tell you throughout my life I have um, you know, built on my skills purposely and accidentally just by moving through life. Um, but every single skill that I have developed, every single skill that I have developed has culminated into reading tarot. It's amazing. Um, it's that I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm just just going to leave it at that. Let's go ahead and move on to the white cats. And we have kittens. Kittens and wands. This is the five of wands. So this is an interesting card because it talks about a lot of things. Basically, it um, think of these words, conflict, competition, chaos, and cooperation. So when I see this card, I think a lot about um, school projects or projects at work where you have to work with a group. Not necessarily um, a group that's worked together like in basketball or baseball or a sport, but more of a group that you've been put together and you guys have this project that you need to finish by a certain time. And what goes on is somebody works harder than the others. Somebody says they're going to buy the poster and doesn't. And there's a lot of conflict and chaos. And somebody has a better idea. Somebody doesn't like that idea. And it goes. And so it goes. But in the end, when you're successful, you have built something greater than one of you would have built yourself. And by successful, I don't mean that somebody did the whole project and then presented it. I mean that you finally found cooperation and began to really work together. So that's what that card's all about. It's all about being prepared and then knowing that in the end, you know how to co-op, cooperate and triumph. And with each thing, you become wiser each day. Now let's see what's under the yellow cat. And we have... Dun, 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 dun. It's a high priestess. Oh, she is a mysterious lady. She is living in a world full, fertile with possibility. This card tells you to trust your insights. Listen to your dreams. Look for your messages from the universe today. Ask for a sign, and you will receive a sign. This, go, this has a lot with uh, trusting your gut. I'd like to mention a book by um, Gavin De Becker on self-preservation, safety, um, that talks, about, talks all about, it's called The Gift of Fear. The Gift of Fear by Gavin De Becker. It talks all about... Trusting your instincts and trusting your gut and what that does to help you in your life and help you to be safe and protector. So here we are. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down button. Um, do comment. I've gotten, uh, I've, I've 
come a long way in a few months of doing this. And a lot of that is because of your comments and the things that you've asked me to improve. Um, so I do want to hear what it is you don't like because I feel like you guys give me a lot of helpful criticism and I sorely need it. So I hope this was just what you needed. So please, please do take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Don't make life altering decisions or changes based on this or any other tarot pick a card video. But do connect with me on my social medias linked below. Book with me on my website or on my Keen um, for a personal, more detailed reading. And last but not least, subscribe if you want to know exactly when my videos upload, you can hit that notification bell and that will notify you whenever I upload a video. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.